like a waiter. And you brought him! Yeah, we, we figured you'd like to see your grandson. I'm just happy to be here. Hi, Nicole. It's Anne, actually. Mom, we've been married for 15 years. <laughs> On guard! Oh, yeah. He's uh, really into stage combat. It's been a big thing for us. Yeah, it's not really the competition that we're in it for, I would say. Yeah. yeah, Danny's been having trouble at school, so we're really just trying to get him around the family and have some good memories and kind of just build up his mental health and all of that. Yeah, he's a super sensitive guy. He yeah. sneezed and broke his arm in four places. Yeah. Are you okay? The Blue, are you having some sort of psychological breakdown? Oh, no, no. I just thought it'd be fun, you know, frosty for Christmas and stuff. Okay, because it looks like a cry for help. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. You know, I just love this time of year. It's so nice to spend time with the family, see my kids and the grandkids. Clear. <laughs> We just love the holiday season, just just all the kids getting together and whatnot and oh, I need a I need a whiskey sour. Uh. Glory, revelation, the spirit of Christmas hath provided me with angels. Hi! Oh, oh grandmother, you look so beautiful this evening. Oh my goodness, you're getting so big. Be respectful, one of you. You know I go by Sniper now. I'm legally changing it when I'm 18. Oh, your door is so large. And who is your colorist? This is divine. Thank you, dear. My Connor is going to destroy everyone. My advanced education has not only led me to extremely successful business ventures, but I have succeeded in winning the gingerbread contest for seven consecutive years since the inaugural competition. You went to Florida State. Go Gators. Can I be in the interview too? Shh. Yeah, I worked on the last eight seasons of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I've been here for 10 minutes and I already miss it. Come on in, let's go get this party started. I hate Christmas. I hate my family. I hate gingerbread. I'm going to try and sneak away without anyone noticing. You are not going anywhere. Now come on, we're going to give Grandpa Hake a massage. I hate my life. British. I just got back from England. I must have picked up the accent. Can you smell that? The mistletoe and the gingerbread? No. Didn't think so. Assistant! And smile more to make your demeanor more applicable. Oh my gosh, you look hideous. Put this on. Okay. Um, we have you scheduled for two hours. Assistant! Unfortunately, Chantal will not be granting interviews tonight. I've had a lot of run-ins with the paparazzi. She requests that you respect her privacy. Ever since I was seen in London with Adele, the TMZ have been all over me. See, there's Adele. And there's me right next to her. You people are vultures. <sighs> Son made this one. Um, he's not quite sure what holiday it is, but 
You know, he's, he likes to keep us guessing. Guinevere, where are you? We have to win this gingerbread competition so Grandma will love us. Is that a fake pen? Show up! Is the Black Friday sale now? I know what I'm not thankful for Christmas. Mom, you say that every year. It's like one of those dodos I saw as a kid. Bring on the next one. <coughs> Is that edible? No, it's 24 karat gold. I remember Private Buckley used to dress like this with all them little bells and whistles on them. Right, like, it was very shiny. Right. Next. Yeah, what she said. It's a box. <gasps> oh, <gasps> Marvelous. Grandma, would you like more wine? Yes, dear. It's perfect. Just like your gingerbread house. Thank you. Knock it off, Denise. Is there another one? Or are we forgetting somebody? Oh, good. What is more important? Art or life? I present to you a desert landscape, a preview of what Earth will be if we let climate change run its course. What are you doing? I have vowed to never drink water again in order to not deprive Mother Nature of her natural resources. Be the change. Hey sis, glad you made it. Thank you. I brought my lover and her lover. Hey, I'm Jeff. I do not love my lover's lover. I was seeing this girl. She's nice. We were talking. It was good. And then she's like, hey, I like this other girl. Do you think maybe I could date her too? I'm like, yeah. What? Like, <laughs> who wouldn't say yes to that? So, you know, we all just became together. And so the one girl that my girlfriend is now dating, and I guess is dating me too, was like, hey, my, it's my family's Christmas party. Let's so show them what's what. So that's why I'm here. And I said yes, and I'm here. You know, seeing all these people together reminds me of when I was in the barracks with me lads in the war. We didn't have any of our high school sweethearts, so we had to make do with the men around the camp. Not you, Denise. And I, uh... Okay, Hank. <gasps> It's okay, family's important. Um, at some point, do you think I could take a day off? At least call my children, it's my daughter's birthday. Stop talking, go clean up that precious kitchen of house. No candy cane for you. Did you know that my gingerbread house was made by Louis Vuitton? Oh, I knew Louis Vuitton when he was about three years old. He was about Yay, hi. Very annoying. I hated the Italians and whatnot. <sighs> <clears throat> so, um, anybody watch anything interesting on Netflix recently? So, NASA? Yeah. And what is that? So, you guys and Beckany? Well, I'm Beckany's girlfriend, and he's my boyfriend. Yeah, but technically, I'm also Beckany's boyfriend, too. She doesn't like to think of him as her boyfriend. But I am. She just is a little picky. So, how does that work? Actually, I don't want to know. I love Christmas. You guys love Christmas? Yeah. And, and one particular story of what I would do on Christmas comes to mind. I, me and, and my mom and my dad and my five brothers would go out with Christmas trees. So, Chantel, how is London? You think you're better than everyone, don't you? Why are you even here? 
Nobody wants you here. You're barely even a part of this family. Well, I enjoyed it. I went and saw Buckingham Palace. Me and Adele, we even sang for our dear Queen's passing. Shut up, Chantel. You never did any of that. Uh, assistant, insult her. Uh, your face makes onions cry. A better one. Y uh, you look like you listen to Ed Sheeran. <gasps> so what if I do? Step it up. I hope your wife brings a date to your funeral. Jesus Christ. It's Christmas! Don't use his name in vain! I thought only people who had souls enjoyed Christmas. And I thought only important people had assistance. <gasps> Go get them! And we go out to the trees, and we each cut down about 20, 25. We load them back onto the car. And then, you know, it may seem like you can't load them on, but you can. And they were the endangered trees. And I was, we would take them from the protected area, and we'd sell them. We just don't ever feel the joy of Christmas. So, it's taking from the rich environment, and giving to the poor families who can now feel the Christmas joy. So whenever I, a Christmas comes by, I just... Makes me think of how we would save the environment in our community. My gingerbread house! My perfect, beautiful gingerbread house! It's on fire! The fire is spreading out my drapes! It's going up the wall! The Christmas the whole side of the house is on fire! Oh, I left my vest over there. You guys, this is plastic! It's gonna melt! Assistant, go put out the fire! You shouldn't fight like this. You know, I I put too much pressure on you guys. You're all my kids and I love you all. Since I have the last gingerbread house standing, does that mean I win? You care about a candy house when I just lost my son to a fire? I just lost my boyfriend and my boyfriend's girlfriend. One of them was our sister. No one lives forever. He was only 12. It should have been you. Christmas and a so-so New Year. <laughs> <laughs>